Do I have actors yet? Do I have actors? Do I have actors yet, Tim? No, Miss No Miss Ma. <laughs> Janet is someone who I have been a huge fan of well before I ever met her for the show. She was an icon well before she ever worked on Pose. She'd written memoir and she had a show on MSNBC that I thought was really fantastic. So to get her as a writer and a producer was a real coup. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always asking myself, how can I live a purposeful life? And working on this show specifically has really been a great answer to that question. Being the first trans woman of color to be hired in a Hollywood writer's room and then the first to direct and write an episode of television and now to come back to do two more this season is astounding but I hope that Poe shows that people who've never been given a chance can actually do it and they can do it well, and that it actually makes for more dynamic, more authentic, more impactful storytelling. The most amazing thing for me about having Janet in the room is that there's not just one trans person in our writer's room anymore. There are two trans people writing for trans characters. She's such a talented writer. She's such a talented director. Working specifically with Janet Mock, my trans black sister on set, it's so wonderful to see the show have this initiative that empowers and uplifts talented black trans folks. And it just fills my heart when we're working together. Well, we're taking it out. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm not gonna fight you, writer. Mm -hmm. And then to see other people respecting her as a director, as a female director, as a trans female director, as a black trans female director is very empowering. So how does Ryan. it feel to be directed? Janet Monk. No, let's do that again. Let's make it more exciting. <laughs> so how does it feel to be directed by Janet Monk? Oh my god, I never thought you'd have it. That's better. <laughs> Everyone needs a Janet, I tell you. She's definitely one of the best people that I've ever been directed by and she knows exactly what she wants, she's very specific. You know, sometimes I gotta help her out. <laughs> Mother Mock, Mother Mock. As a director, she demands, and as an actor, you need to deliver. Which is great, because it sort of pulls the best out of you from the best, so I love it. The crazy thing is that me and Janet met on the train. Okay. On the, I think it was a two train on 42nd Street, after like tweeting towards each other, and then we finally met on the platform, and I'm like, Janet. She's like, Leomi? We all started this journey together since day one. So being with her alongside this journey like, has been amazing, and I'm so lucky to be a part of it and see her grow while we're all growing. And that's it. Number one, it's such an honor that Ryan's trusted me to helm the show out of, you know, the second season. There's a lot of great, you know, loose ends that are tied up, a lot of um, reconciliations, a lot of new beginnings, and so that's really um, powerful to be able to, to helm that. Okay. We let them have a beat and then we'll all okay. She is someone who is completely willing to open up her heart. There's so much of her own personal experience put into the narrative of Pose. And so I'm forever indebted to her for giving so much of herself and of her own story to make this show and this story better. Can I see the shot of the board starting? Can she stand up? Yeah, sure. We are on the finale. Um, I think we're five scenes in so far. For me, when people ask me what the legacy of Pose will be, it'll always be that we have equipped, we have empowered, hired, and recruited people who lived it to tell their own stories. Thank you. I think I like this is the simplest. Can we see that again? Recommendation of Janet Mock, the one and only. <laughs> Cut, check that.